Hospice often begins at the point where there's an acknowledgement that death is coming. Hospice is a philosophy of care where we are doing our best to promote comfort and peace for people at end of life. Hospice is a great program because it allows people to pass away where they call home. So patients, families, and loved ones, their emotions are mixed. Sometimes it's a very sudden, could be devastating decision to make. For others, it's just the next step of the journey. A typical hospice journey for emotions would include everything from the day we meet the patient and their family where they're very anxious. Um, they're usually feeling alone and overwhelmed, um, probably a little scared of what's to come. Centricare offers nurse, social worker, we have massage therapy, music therapy, we have chaplain services and volunteers, and we also offer um, hospice aid services. So after death a lot of times, families that are grieving have a hard time processing through the things that need to happen um, and to schedule uh, funerals, to figure out the finances. Because they have the grief going on that may cause some grief fog, it's very difficult to go from one task to another. When we ask the question, now what? That is the question that I experience a lot. My loved one is on hospice, now what? My loved one just died, now what? And this is where all the details come flooding in about funerals, about obituaries, about estate planning, about telling loved ones. And it comes to every detail because the mind is often working through these details. The Empathy app is a tool or a resource for patients' family members that kind of guides them on a very one-on-one -on -one personal journey through hospice and then of course after hospice. A great deal of it involves bereavement and guiding them through all the steps that it takes after someone passes away. Empathy um, is an app that is an easy access for families um, to go to at the end of life in the last days or after they pass as a resource for support and then um, ideas on what to do, next steps, a checklist. It's a connection for family to be connected together on these things that they might need to do. Grief is just one section of it. It has planning a funeral, planning a wake, even writing an obituary, and then with all of the paperwork, if you need to apply for Social Security, if you need to apply for veterans benefits, if you are looking for other financial support, they can help walk you through that. Uh, they can help with closing social media accounts, um, how to go about doing that. Within the Empathy app, there's ability to assign tasks to other family members to help through that process. What I appreciate most about the Empathy app and the team is that there is a care manager behind it, someone to talk to, someone who's connected with the family, who can hold that space with them. Not just resources, but someone who can help maybe curate some of those resources. This app helps to maintain that comfort and that peace and that security that we've brought to them as a team. There's a lot of technical aspects after somebody passes and so our hope is that this app will meet that need in addition to the care that we provide through our bereavement. As we move through this linear journey accompanying people on this timeline, I believe the app fills in the gaps and meets people in the fluidity of all that grief holds.